Hi, I'm Martin, and you're watching Ruscam. My name is Martin Hinchewood. I'm a ALM MVP. Um, I'm originally from Scotland, but I work here in Kirkland. I work as a consultant for a company called Northwest Cadence. Um, we go all over the U.S. doing ALM engagements. Grape City has an office right here in Kirkland, as a matter of fact. Ah, <laughs> how about that? I'm really looking forward to finding out what's in the next next version of Visual Studio, rather than in the one that's not quite out yet. I believe they're releasing the beta on Wednesday. Now, is there a code name for that? Uh, Visual Studio 11 is, Eleven? yep. Microsoft have kind of given up on code names yeah. <laughs> um, because they tend to stick. I think the only one that ever stuck that went into an actual product was Xbox. <laughs> that was it. That was a code name. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, I saw you taking a look at our cookbook over there. Yes, it looked awesome. I was thinking there's a few recipes my, uh, my wife would quite enjoy in there. Oh uh, yeah, and how about you? You do any cooking? Um, I do a little bit of cooking. I don't tend to be allowed to cook that often. Yeah. Um, I'm told I make a mess and take a long time to cook things. Uh -huh. um, but that's only because I you know, do it properly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> My name is Christopher Banaj, and I currently work for Microsoft Patterns and Practices. My focus lately has been actually in the space of HTML5 and JavaScript. So how do you like working for Microsoft, man? It is like going back to college, yeah. actually. <laughs> I, I, uh, uh, yeah, I, I love it. You know what blew me away, and this was even 12 years ago when I was at Microsoft in the beginning, was the internal infrastructure. I could not believe all the internal websites, right, that are inside the company. It is just amazing. And uh, the patterns and practices, man, congratulations. You landed in a great group. That stuff is hot. So you are a former Russ's Tool Shed <laughs> presenter, right? An, an, an alumni, right? Of, exactly. <laughs> So you were just telling me you're, you're really looking forward to just, uh, you know, hanging out this week, huh? A absolutely, yeah. So I, I was an MVP for about, I think, three years prior to that. I had to give up my MVP to become an employee. Yeah. And so I have a great sentimental attachment to the summit, and I just love being here and seeing everyone, actually. So you've been uh, at the MVP summit uh, how many times now? Um, let's, let's see. I was an MVP back in 2007. Wow. That's five years. Yeah. And uh, started working for Microsoft in 2011. So oh, wow. It's probably like six or seven time, I guess. Hey, it's a great, great conference, ain't <laughs> it? What do you think of the conference? It's the best place to come to. The best place to meet people, yeah. interact, meet the good friends. Mm -hmm. Great time. Great place to collaborate, I guess. Oh, that's cool. I'm Mike Bankovich. I run Bank of Tips, which is kind of the only thing you need to know about bankoftips.com. Read all about it, right? That's it. Bank of Tips, man. It's good. You gotta love it. It's all about branding, right? It's developer resources. <laughs> You know, you're, you're, when I when I worked on that same team as you at Microsoft as a MSDN right. uh, presenter, a developer evangelist, uh, a lot of times in my demos I would put like Rust Tool Shed under whatever. Oh, yeah. And you were the only other guy I knew that did like the branding. You always put like Benko in your demo apps. So that's it. <laughs> Hey. And, and, and if you haven't been out there lately, it's, it's, I've, I've been building it out, so I have all the user groups. I've got I've got office hours running on there. I got webcasts. So I got I got lots of good stuff. I'm Steve Saint Jean. Um, I'm an ALM uh, Visual Studio ALM MVP. Yeah. Uh, I'm also a senior ALM consultant with Imaginet. And you're from New England. I'm from New England. Old Shedhead. Old Shedhead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It's a blast in the past. That's great. Yeah, and uh, tool sheds. so you've been uh, involved in some of the code camps up there too, huh? Yeah, uh, I try to get up there for the uh, twice a year uh, code camps. Uh, they've been going on forever and a day. Yeah. Uh, the original code camps, as you're familiar with. You're right. That is the first one. That's right. The code camp. Yeah, that's it. And uh, so we try to get up there and do at least uh, one or two presentations every time we're there. We've got some really good stuff going on with the dev team uh, coming up tomorrow and on Wednesday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, they're looking at a lot of really good stuff. Some of this, uh, of course, NDA stuff, so we can't talk about it. VS11? Uh, VS11. Hopefully, VS12. Oh, wow. I want to wow. hear some more about wow. that. Wow. Wow. Plan that. This episode of RustCam is brought to you by Active analysis from Grape City Power Tools. Active analysis. Mm -hmm. It's a custom control that is a totally self-contained business intelligence application. A developer can just go in the application, connect it to our data, give it to a business guy, and they can slice and dice and look and graph and OLAP their way to, to happiness. Active analysis from Grape City Power Tools. Smarter components for smarter developers.
Go to gvtv.gcpowertools.com, your online source for developer news. Plus, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Yeah.